morning tubbers um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can recall that conversation I had where I said that um, I'm just me I don't act and that I let you know about the good and the bad well <clears throat> unfortunately I've got to tell you about the bad because um, I was delivering in Sheffield and I was driving up an hill there were parked cars on the left, the bus coming towards me. The bus decides he's picking pass passengers up quite rightly, uh, which uh, shuts the gap. And bear in mind, I've got vehicles queuing behind me to get up, and then vehicles to come in, queuing to come down the hill. So the pressure's on me to get through this really tight gap. We both had to move our mirrors to, to squeeze me by, me and the bus driver. Um, and in hindsight I should have just sat there and made everybody bloody wait but I didn't want to do that and I carried on going and we touched mirrors me and the bus driver so I pulled the mirror in he pulled his mirror in and I got I nearly cleared him and there was a taxi driver sat on the left bear in mind I would not got hardly any room to my left because there was a BMW 1 Series parked about a metre from the kerb. It was poorly parked. And I, I was so close to it, really being careful. And I've been careful since I've been driving with the agency. Um, and yeah, and because I'd moved the mirror, I'd lost sight of the buzz in that mirror. And the taxi driver, although the taxi driver was sat in it and could have... He was looking, but he didn't think, oh no, I'll move. No, he didn't. So, and he was away from the curb. I had to just pull out a bit, and I caught the bloody buzz on its rear end with my truck. And it, it, and it didn't do a lot of damage. It just left a scrape down in the rear panel that's um, made of fiberglass or, or something, whatever. Uh, it cracked that. It didn't do an awful lot of damage. You certainly wouldn't have stopped him carrying on taking passengers and whatnot. But boy, was it a palaver uh, from his end. Oh, he had so much paperwork to go through and photos and all that malarkey. He was worried I was going to drive off. I said, no, I'm, listen, I'm not going to leave the vehicle in the middle of the road. I'm going to pull it up to the side so everybody can get by. But yeah, I thought I was going to do a runner, even though the company's name's on the side of the, the truck. Like... But yeah, so um, yeah, I'm really, 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 really disappointed that I've done that because every fibre of my body said stop and make everybody wait. But being the polite kind of guy I am, I soldiered on and I paid the price. I rung the company up. This, this seat, the girl on the phone seemed okay with it. Whether they okay with it when I get back, if somebody give me a bollock in for it, no doubt. But uh, yeah, I'm disappointed I've done that. So there we have it. There's the rough, <laughs> as well as the smooth. So my first little prang. I guess it was bound to happen one day, but I've only been doing the job. I only passed my test two bloody months. And it, uh, it, uh, the annoying part about it is I've been in a lot tighter scrapes. I, uh, I mean, I went into a golf car park, and it was oh man, there's cars everywhere. And I managed to turn this vehicle around in a car park with golfers walking about without squishing anybody and without touching any of the cars. So this should have been a, a cakewalk, but because I'd lost sight of them in this mirror, because it, I, it had moved, I, I forgot I'd moved it, then I just moved over an inch too far and just caught him. It, probably the, the buckles on my curtain side that, that caught him. So there we have it, uh, bus driver, yeah, <laughs> all my way through Sheffield I, I was dodging traffic, they're just town drivers, they're, they're everywhere, nobody's got any patience, and you're bearing this in mind so you soldier on, but no, I, next time I shall just sit in the middle of the road and let everybody do what they, they want to do, if I want to get umpty they get umpty, but I'm not doing that again, so yeah, I've let myself down. Let's hope the day gets a bit better because I feel 
proper doldrum now. It's, it has. It's uh, deflated me. But never mind. Drive safe. Safer than me anyway. Drive safe. I've just pulled over here by I'm near Newark and this is the River Trent and I've got an half hour break to take so I thought I'd just pull over here and just found a nice little spot farmer's gathering his hay bales over there let's see if I zoom in on him which can mean only one thing autumn is most definitely on the way uh, which is not a good thing, I don't like the autumn um, and the reason I don't like autumn even though it's a beautiful season is because it represents winter's coming spring is my favourite month uh, season because it indicates that summer's on its way um, it warm, warms up. All right, it might not. Su it not, <laughs> might not. Sh some might not shine all the while, but it certainly warms up. So uh, yeah, I, that's why I love spring. But it's the only reason I don't like autumn because it represents that winter's coming, and winter sucks donkey. It absolutely does. So yeah, found a nice little spot here. I'm going to enjoy my half hour. Morning Tubbers. Uh, Friday the 11th and um, this Friday I've definitely got the Friday feeling because I've got Saturday, Sunday and Monday off as I'm um, going golfing on Saturday and Sunday overnighting playing Monday. Uh, we play for a, a cup that we come up with for a friend's 40th birthday and we've played for it every year ever since. So. I got that to look forward to this week, so I've got the fine feeling. Local run, so hopefully that'll be alright. And to boot, and this is for HT, the sun doesn't only shine in Gloucestershire. Look at that. That's one of the big sisters, there's, there's two of them. There's another one just there, look. How are we doing? Uh, I've not got much to report this week other than the fact that um, I played Demolition Derby with a, a buzz in Sheffield. Um, <laughs> that's about it, that's taught me to be um, extra vigilant. Always make sure your mirrors are in the correct position or not like me. I push my mirror out, back out, but just one click not far enough and so when I looked at it my view was clear, hence the reason I thought I've got a bit of space to my right, but no. So there we go. Um, good day today, Friday. As I mentioned, um, I've got a good weekend. A bit of uh, oiling to be done on Sunday night. Uh, why not? It's a long while since I've had a drink. Uh, yeah, and Monday off. So I'm currently at, um, hmm. no I'm not going to tell you, I don't want to get them in trouble or myself into trouble, but um, in a big uh, uh, food logistics company and I'm waiting for the green light to come on on my bay. So, and I've got two drops left before I'll start collecting. So. Um, yeah, I haven't got a lot to tell you this week, not a lot of interest, nothing really interesting en route. Um, next week I plan on doing a, a day one uh, video for people that have just passed the test and the first day uh, on a job what to expect, i.e. 
you go see the transport manager, the manager you know the, the planners pick up your manifest all that malarkey it's all alien territory if you've never done it before um, so I shall talk you through that and go through a delivery day how to check the loads off and etc how to mark them off all that so there we go I'll catch you later drive safe <laughs>